Sometimes all you've got to do is open your eyes and read. I'm so glad you can join me for another quick installment in the Over My Shoulder Bible Study series. These brief videos augment the sermon series that I'm preaching right now with Missouri Street Church of Christ here in Baytown, Texas. This series is very simple. One sermon from each book of the Bible. And this Sunday, the 28th of June, we find ourselves in the second letter of John. Second John has so much to offer about so many things, not the least of which is grace and mercy and peace and truth and love. It all comes from Jesus Christ, God the Father as well. But for this particular episode, we'll just focus briefly on one of the most common misconceptions that I find people having regarding the Bible. Invariably, when I speak with people about the Bible, about things that are difficult or unusual to them, the subject of the Antichrist comes up. Well, John makes mention of the Antichrist, but not in the way that most people that I find understand the Antichrist. The typical understanding, at least, again, that as I encounter, is that it, is, it has reference to one specific individual, singular, probably in the future, but perhaps present already today. That's not at all the way the Bible speaks of Antichrist. In fact, let's just look here in 2 John, in verse 7. There are deceivers that have already gone out into the world. They do not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. Interesting. They deny the incarnation of the Christ. They, they may call on the Messiah, but they don't believe that He actually had skin on, as it were. Any such person is the deceiver and the antichrist. Well, any such person who denies these things is the spirit of the antichrist. And there are many who have already done these things. This letter was written nearly 2,000 years ago. It speaks of matters past, not merely matters future. It speaks in the plural, a grand plural, and not only in the singular in regard to the Antichrist. This isn't the only place the Antichrist is mentioned. Earlier in, in 1 John, in chapter 2, John had said some similar things. Uh, you have heard that the Antichrist is coming. So now many Antichrists have come. There is not one singular Antichrist yet to come in the future. Rather, there have been Antichrists from the time of Christ and many of them. It is the spirit of those who do not confess Jesus as the Christ. In chapter 4 of 1 John, John had said, By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. And every spirit that does not confess Jesus Christ is not from God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, of which you have heard that it is coming. And now it is already in the world. Well, whether that corrected some misconception you may have or not, let me encourage you to open your Bible and read it. You'll be amazed at how many things are taken for granted as being from the Bible that really are not the Bible's teaching.